All right, let's get this bike started. <clears throat> Let it warm up for a minute. It was about, let's see, 75 out here in Florida today. Super nice out. Go for a little stroll real quick. Seriously, thank you all who uh, commented for the shot giveaway and uh, also subscribe to the channel. And also on Instagram. So one of the main reasons that I wanted to record today's video was one, uh, we will be announcing the giveaway winner at the end of uh, today's video. So one of the main, one of the main topics really give a uh, review on it and um, as you can see the bike's got about a thousand a little over a thousand a thousand miles on the bike and um video on it and if I can do it I think you guys can do it too and um, if you're new to the channel I, I have the uh, I have the new Honda Navi uh, pre-ordered it should be here the second week of January I'm not gonna tell you what color I got because uh, the deal may fall through I may not actually get that color that, that I wanted but hopefully fingers crossed I get the uh, I get the color that I wanted I think it's gonna surprise some of y'all uh, what, what color. Oh my god! Next thing to do is we gotta put a rear. <laughs> we gotta do some frame sliders in a rear cage. I do want to try to get this thing up on one wheel and see what I can do as far as stunning goes. Um, I hope everybody had a very merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hopefully your your hearts were filled with love and joy. I know um, I went to Helen, Georgia, and spent some time. Uh,
think even if I get a Yosh exhaust, it's still going to be extremely loud. Comment down below and let me know if you're a Grom rider. I don't know whether it's an older Grom or a newer Grom. What, uh, what exhaust are you guys using? Hopefully this audio comes out good. I have, I have the hood open on my, uh, on my helmet, so hopefully we're not getting too much exhaust or wind noise. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get some exhaust noise, but hopefully it's not uh, overbearing. So. Yeah, this is going to be the last ride of 2021 with the Grom because I am taking the EC route, sending it back to DHM, and I am going to be in return getting the, the new flash plus the uh, high compression piston. And I think it's in February, they're having a small bore event uh, by the tail of the dragon that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to go to, hopefully me and, um, me and another another buddy, the guy who helped me install the cam, he's got a 2022 uh, Honda Grom SV. Hopefully he's going to be coming with us. I think it'll be really cool, you know, get to meet a bunch of people in the small board community and get to go ride the tail with a with a whole gang gang of people. I think that'll be extremely fun. So if you're going to make it out to that um, small board event in Tennessee for the Tail Dragon, please comment down below and let me know if you're going to be there. I'd love to. Uh, some of you guys and you know get to do a uh, get to do a group ride with, uh, with you guys I think that'll be extremely cool and I am extremely excited for the uh, high compression piston I have no idea what I'm doing but you know what that's what it's all about that's what that's what it's all about I figured if I can do the, uh, the camshaft I can do the high compression piston as well and um, yeah, ben, Ben's going to help me out with the uh, high compression piston as well. And then I think, I think I say this, as soon as I get that high compression piston, I think it's going to be, I'm going to take a little break for a while when it comes to actual performance mods. You know, I'd like to do a maybe two valve, four valve head, I don't know yet. I'd like to be able to get this bike to run 80 miles an hour, no problem, but I gotta, I gotta think, I'm thinking with that high compression piston we're gonna have, this bike's gonna get super hot super quick if I was to go on a long ride, so I don't, I don't really have much, much knowledge on that part, but I'm looking forward to doing the, uh, high compression piston and seeing what it, what, you know, what this bike can really do, and, um, like I said, if, if you, uh, enjoy watching my videos in the, uh, all videos help you. I've got a lot of people messaging me telling me, you know, thank you for your videos. It really helps me get out there and get motivated to modify your bike. And uh, like I said, if you're on the fence, I really think you should should do the um, the camshaft for your bike. You know, the DHM one has been great for me. You know, there's a couple other options out there, but I think you should really do it if you have the an exhaust and an intake in a, in a tune already. You'll be, I think you'll be quite quite pleased uh, quite pleased with the results of the camshaft the intake exhaust tune um, it, it just really wakes this bike up the bike pulls throughout the entire uh, power band So that is going to do it uh, for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping into the channel and uh, going for the last ride with me for 2021. Like I mentioned, uh, we are going to be doing the, uh, we're going to be sending off the ECU to uh, DHM so we can get that, uh, the new flash and get the high compression piston. I'm super uh, excited, not only for that uh, performance game, but to uh, make some content and do the install video. So Without further ado, let's get on to the giveaway winner. And uh, make sure if you're stopping to the channel for the first time, please leave this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Congratulations to the winner. Video here. 
Let's get the YouTube comments. We got 48. All right, let's see who's the winner. All right, it's Boo Dry. Congratulations. Uh, send me a DM and uh, let's get this uh, shock out to you. Thank you all who entered. And uh, yep, send me a DM and let's get this bad boy out to you. Thank you all who entered.